how to create the template button in Notion. So actually the template button feature is no longer available in Notion, but they have replaced it with this new feature called button. So following a recent upgrade, you can now add blocks above or below the template button, which is now called button. Include pages in a particular database, change the characteristic of a page from a certain database. So as you can see, this is a my project and I want to add a button each of a my database right here. I want to add an action button on my personal and my habit tracker and my project. So let's just say for personal, I want to see if I have completed all of my like daily routine, my daily task or personal development right here. Same goes with my habit tracker. If I'm done with my habit or my to-do list here and also with my project. So with the help of this button or action button, I can now adjust the settings and it would be easier for me just one click, you know, I can change everything. Like I can, um, use the checklist again. Like for example, I can reuse a checklist. I can reuse this template. Everything is up to me. I can now see which one is in high prio or, you know, it makes everything easier thanks to this add button feature here in Notion. So to start, I'm going to show you how to create a button right here. So you cannot add it anywhere here, but you have to go to the upper side and like that would be after a heading. So I'm going to add a button here below heading. So let me enter, tap enter to start. You just have to click or type slash and then type button or you can scroll down to see it. So type slash and then button it will appear right here and then after that you have to click and you can now add an action to this specific uh, database so for you button you can name it whatever you want so for personal i want to name this button as let's just say today so i can know if i am done with this task or to-do list so let's just say I have two properties here, like for today and tomorrow. So I want to see all the tasks that I have finished today. Edit pages, select database, and then let's say it's P1, so it's personal one. And then for edit property, let me tap today. Okay. And then after that, uncheck. So if I am complete or I have finished everything, and then I need to uncheck everything here. So this means that I want to start all over again because I'm done with today's task. So if I'm going to tap this button today, it will clear everything here. So I have to restart again. Now, let's just say if you want to change the setting here and you want to set this tomorrow. Okay, so for example, the new name is tomorrow and you want to edit reaction. So you just have to click this arrow facing down, tap tomorrow. This time you need to check. Okay, so once you tap the button tomorrow, it should check everything here. So when you tap this button, it will check all of the, you know, personal things here. Now, if you want to add another property again, so let's just say if you want to add like Wednesday, all you have to do is to click this plus icon and then go to checklist or let's just say checkbox. And then that is for the type checkbox. And then you can rename this as Wednesday and then press enter. And then here you can check everything. For example, we're done with this or let's just say you're about to do this. Now change the button to Wednesday as the name of your new button. Okay, and then for action, you just have to click this arrow facing down, Wednesday, select, uncheck. Once you tap the button, it should uncheck everything here. You can add another step if you want. So if you tap this button right here, it will uncheck everything. So that's how you basically, you know, use this button. For habit tracker, I want to add a button again, type slash, new button, 
So you can name it whatever you want. Let's just say completed. So add action. And then you have to click this edit pages. And then you have to look for the name of your database. So select database. And then let's say H1. Okay, that is how to tracker H1. And then for edit a property, you have to look for completed. Okay, so you want to, you know, uncheck or clear everything for completed. Okay, for the habit tracker or the habit that is complete. So if you tap this completed button, it will unclear everything here. That means you're done with that and you want to start again. Okay, so as you can see, it and clear everything here. Same goes with not completed. You can change uh, the button right here. You can change the action. You can change the name to not started and then change uh, the database and change the add property to not started. And then once it's at the button, it will uncheck everything here. Okay, so that's how you basically add an action or button for habit tracker. Let's just say for project, which is the last one here, if you want to add again another button, which is former template button, just tap and then type slash and then type button. And then here you can add a new, for example, completed again for new button, let's just say completed. And then again, you have to click this add action right here for you to see the database. Okay, edit pages, database, P1, okay, project one. And then after that, you have to click edit a property. So let's just say edit a property completed. Okay, so you want to uncheck everything here and then start again. Okay, so for example, you are done with some of the projects right here. And if you tap this completed button, it will unclear everything. Okay, so let me tap completed button. It will uncheck everything here. And actually, if you have tons of projects, it's a good thing. You know, it will make your task easier. Once you tap this button, it would unclear everything here. Same goes with not started. You can do the same process. And then you just have to change everything, like the database, the property. And then you can add another step if you want to do. But basically, this is how you create a template button or a button in Notion. Also, if you want to add another property, then it's okay. So I'm going to show you how to add another property or another database. So let me scroll down. And this time I want to add a database about my health. So what I'm going to do here is let me delete this because I want to add an inline database and this one is not. So let me delete this one first. And then it's the same thing. All you have to do is to type slash and then look for inline, type inline. And then you have to see or click this database inline and then change this, for example, health. Now I can add here my health projects or let's just say my to-do list for my health. So these are the samples. Now I want to add property here. Let's just say I want to add a date. So tap this and then go to type. You have to look for the tap this one. It is what it looks like. And then um, never mind for the number. You can just simply set this to date. Okay. And another property here I wanted to add is like a select type. Let's just say I want to add options such as high, medium, and low. So to add an option, you just have to click this add option right here. Let me tap it again. Edit property. Go to add option. And then set this high. Press enter. And then medium. And then low. So let me do it again. High. And then enter. Medium. Enter. And then low. Okay, so this is it. Now I'm going to show you how to create a template button or button. So let me add a date first so that 
I want to see if this one is in high prio medium or low. But actually, this one is necessary, not necessary at all. It's just to put something here on the dig. Okay, so after that, what you're going to do is you have to go to health and then tap enter. And then here, what you're going to do next is you have to type slash and then look for button. Now we're going to add an action here. Let's just say this one is like priority. And then add action. Okay, so edit pages, health. And then after that, edit a property, select. So I want to, when I want to tap this priority, everything should be set to high, as easy as that. So let me go back and tap prior. So let's just see if it, you know, function well. Okay, let me recheck again. Okay, so let me tap priority here. And as you can see under select, you will see everything here is in high prio. As easy as that. If you find this video helpful, please do like and share because it helps me reach more people. See you soon.